Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, today's video, we're going to be talking about the Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder press conference. Dude, that thing was off the friggin' chain, man. If you guys have not seen that, you definitely got to check it out. And if you guys plan on watching the fight, make sure you show your support by the pay-per-view or if you're in the Southern California area, buy yourself some tickets and go and check that mug out live because I know that mug is going to be on right there. Now, also in this video, we're going to be going over an article from the boxing scene, which they are quoting a statement Deontay Wilder made at that press conference. And that statement that he made was, I ain't afraid to get rid of the O on my record. Now, in the article, it states Deontay Wilder was on a rant against those who have dodged his former opponent, Luis Ortiz, out of fear. Ortiz is big, skillful, and has a habit of inflicting pain on his opponents. All reasons that few heavyweights, even the top ones, haven't been eager to tangle with the Cuban defector. Ortiz almost stopped Wilder before falling himself in March. Fear is one thing that Wilder can't accept from a fighter. He's afraid of no one, even if that means putting his perfect record, 40-0, with 39 knockouts in jeopardy. Quote. Now, the one thing that I really like about that is that he's saying that he is not afraid of taking risks and that he's willing to put not only his career, but his health and his life on the line just to show the world who was the man at the heavyweight division. OK, man, I mean, if you cannot like that in a boxer or if you can't respect that in a boxer, dude, I don't even know what you watch boxing for, dude. I'm not even sure what you're looking for in a boxer because, dude, you can't even look for any more than that, especially when it comes to a champion. Now, at this press conference, dude, it was friggin' live, man. I'm talking about him and Tyson Fury. They was going at it, man, and a lot of banter going back and forth. Now, the one thing that I really noticed at that press conference is that Tyson Fury, he was more of the colorful, playful person that he was leading up to the friggin' press conference when they were doing their little media tours up in London, New York, and L.A., and all that different kind of stuff. Now, in those little media tours, Deontay Wilder was colorful and playful as well with the little banner but this Deontay Wilder that showed up at this press conference the week of the fight dude you could tell it wasn't Deontay Wilder no more it was like he was the bronze bomber the whole way through the press conference that dude was not playing he wasn't joking all he kept talking about how how the manifestation has has come and how he's gonna knock friggin Tyson Fury's ass out and dude the way that he's talking you could tell this fool is friggin' super serious, dog. I think he wants to catch a body with Tyson Fury. And it trips me out because you have a lot of these little casual-ass fans talking about, oh, Deontay Wilder it looks like Tyson Fury's gotten under his skin and whoop de whoop de woo Dude, it don't look like Tyson Fury's under his skin at all. It just seems like Deontay Wilder is just super focused and on point. And everything that Tyson Fury is, like, bannering with... It seems like Deontay Wilder's just letting that stuff fuel him because I think he's really going to make Tyson Fury pay when it comes fight time. Now, also going into this press conference, one of the main things that really hit home with me was they had gotten to each other's face after they did the little banner back and forth when they were being asked the questions and everything. And uh, they had the little face off. Both of their camps faced off. Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, they were face-to-face -face at the little face-off. And, dude, they just started going ham on each other. You could see Tyson Fury talking crap, and Deontay Wilder was straight going off, talking about, yo, I'm going to knock you the F out. And you could see Tyson Fury was still being his playful self. I don't know if he was just being playful, trying to get into his head, but you could tell Deontay Wilder wasn't, just wasn't having it. That homie was freaking going ham, talking about, dude, I don't give a damn how big you are. I'm going to knock your ass out, just going off. And then he said something to the lines of, and when he said this, it actually hit me on a personal level. And what he said was, you said that you came from a lineage of fighters that's been fighting for over 200 years. And he said, my people have been fighting over 400 years and we still fighting to this day. Now, when he said that, 
I can relate to exactly what he means by that statement. When he said that, that really hit home right there. Just because I've been through the struggles. I've been through a bunch of trials and tribulations, especially with the color of my skin being a black man. And dude, I know exactly what he means. It's like, dude, it is a constant fight. And the only people that like to say, oh, you you only pull in the race car. Why you always pull, why you guys always pull the race car? I got to make it about race. The thing is, the reason why we make things about race is because it is true. We do get hated on because of the color of our skin. And it is what it is. And if you're not black, dude, there is nothing that you can say that can deter me away from knowing what the hell I know. Because, dude, I've walked in stores. Or I've walked down the street or went to certain places. And, dude, I just can get I'll get hated on because of the color of my skin. And it is what it is. And like I said, if you're not black, you will never know. Like I got white friends and I'll friggin tell them this kind of stuff all the time. They'll be like, oh, man, why do black people always play the race car and whoop de whoop de woo this and that? And this is what I'll tell them. I'll tell them, homie, listen, if me and you walk down the street, the people on that block are going to look at you totally different. And when you walk down that block, they're going to have a totally different outlook of you, what's going on, and all of that stuff. If my black ass walked down that same street, that total outlook on what's going on, what they thinking, all that is going to change dramatically just because of the color of my skin. And that's just the way it is. So if you're not black, you can never try to tell me about, oh, you can't play the race car and this and that because you not being black, dude, you will never know what it's like walking down the street or going through a day in the life of a black man. Because, dude, that can be friggin' rough sometimes, dude. I'm talking about if you've never had somebody call you a nigger or any other kind of racial slur like that, then, dude, you can kind of kick rocks with all that stuff because I've been through it. I've been through situations where I'm about to go to jail over some racist kind of stuff. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why when Deontay Wilder said that particular statement, it really hit me home. And I was already riding with Wilder from the beginning. I was already rooting for him to win. But then when he made that statement, it made me really want to ride with him. Like, yo, dog, I know exactly what you mean, man. And you got a dude like Deontay Wilder, who is 40 and 0, 39 knockouts. This fool has literally knocked out everybody he has ever faced. And you still got fools hating on him. You still got fools like, oh, man, he's Windmill Wilder. He's going to get knocked out. He's going to get caught. Oh, somebody's going to catch him slipping. Even with all the technical boxers, he's fought the boogeyman of the heavyweight division, Luis Ortiz, the one that they brought up in this article. Dude. Wasn't nobody trying to fight Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz was Anthony Joshua's mandatory. And Anthony Joshua straight ducked this fool because he knows the threat of this dude. Luis Ortiz even wanted to fight one of the main dudes on his stable, Dillian White, when Dillian White was calling out Luis Ortiz. And Luis Ortiz was going to drop off of this Deontay Wilder card just to go to England. He was going to go to the UK, fight dude on his home turf. And when he was going to do that, Dillian White and his camp turned the fight down because they know they don't want that damn smoke because that would be a hell of a lot of smoke. All them fools would get suffocated. So even with Deontay Wilder testing himself up against a boogeyman like that and knocking him out as viciously as he did, and you still have people sleeping and hating on Deontay Wilder, even with all the knockouts. It's like, okay, if I don't knock people out, Oh, oh, you too boring. Oh, I'm knocking people out and I'm talking stuff. Oh, you too sloppy or this and that. It's always an excuse, it seems like. But at the same time, this press conference, dude, it got me super hyped for this fight. And it seems like Deontay Wilder is like on a friggin' Super Saiyan mode right now. It seems like he's super focused. And dude, I got a feeling that he's going to hurt Tyson Fury really bad. Even after the press conference, you could see that he was being asked questions by different reporters and different media outlets. And there was this particular media outlet, Radio Rahim, who had questioned him on the statement that he was making, talking about, what do you mean by your people? 
And what's funny about that particular comment or question from this dude is that this guy happens to be a black man from the UK. And Deontay Wilder just straight went off on him, man, talking about, dude, what the hell you mean you don't know what I mean? And, dude, you guys would literally have to see this interview for yourself, man. He literally let this dude have it, and you could tell the seriousness in Deontay Wilder leading up into this fight, man. You could tell that this dude ain't playing. And like I said earlier in this video, it really seems like this dude wants to prove to the world who the number one heavyweight fighter is in the world. And it seems like he's trying to make a statement so all the other fighters in the division get put on notice that if you effing with Deontay Wilder, your ass is going to get knocked out too. I mean, the dude has literally knocked out everybody on his friggin' record. If, if you can't take that serious, shoot, I don't know what else you need to be able to take him serious, man. So he's a heavyweight champion of the world. He's from the U.S. So it's about time that we start backing this dude, man. This dude is a U.S. champion. And you got all these other champions from all over the world. You got dudes from the U.K., dudes from the Ukraine. You got dudes from this place, dudes from that place. And their people back them to the fullest. I don't care how bad they suck. You know what I'm saying? Like, they could be the suckiest damn fighter but they dudes will friggin' ride or die with their asses. So having a dude like Deontay Wilder, 40 and no, 39 knockouts, dude, it's about time we start riding up for this champion and giving him the recognition that he deserves. So I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments about this, Make sure to hit me up in the comment section, and I'll be sure to hit you guys up, okay? So, I hope you guys like the video. Holla at your boy.